All right, guys, so for those of you that hate the Jeep videos, this is the last one you're ever gonna see. I'm selling this thing today. I've had it for just about a year. So I've done a really good test on it. It's put its last tank of fuel in it from Wawa. Um, and I just wanna give you one more walk around before I get rid of it. This thing was a way better truck than I expected it to be. Um, really, I'm gonna miss it in a lot of ways. It was a lot of fun, very capable, um, very good towing for a V6 truck awesome transmission pretty fuel efficient if you drove it you know below 70 and overall no mechanical issues it did have some popping in the front end never caused an issue it just happened in four-wheel drive during you know hard steering and stuff um it's the ball joints they're noisy but never had any issues they're just kind of annoying the reason i'm getting rid of it is because i was like a new ram and right now i can sell this thing a year old you know 14,000 miles all the off-roading i did for more than I bought it for. And that's a hard deal to pass up because I kind of want the Rubicon. If I had got the Rubicon, I probably would be keeping it, but there's a bunch of situations where I've wanted the lockers and I wish I'd have got the Rubicon. So this thing does have a lot of Rubicon stuff on it right now. It actually sits higher than a Rubicon. Um, I'm selling it on my stock wheels and tires because um, I just got a bunch of money from my other ones. But uh, I don't have the Rubicon running boards, Rubicon shocks. Uh, the front are my stock springs. Oh, no, the front are Rubicon springs with quarter inch spacers on the top. The rear is the Rubicon shocks with my stock max toe springs with a three quarter inch spacer on the bottom. So it sits pretty good. It's got a little high rake in the back, but I did that for towing. Um, squirrel is very interested in the truck. Uh, that is about it. Um, the bad things about it, the popping from the ball joints, the wind noise around the front pillars and the windshield and the water leaks. Um, this back windshield, as you kind of see, it's not sealed super good. And under a lot of, a lot of rain, that back windshield area would get real wet. Um, I don't know if it was actually leaking around here. I don't know, but something in the back, if I ever like set some clothes up here, up against the windshield, it'd be soaked after a lot of rain. And that made the interior smell kind of bad. Um, so that's annoying. I did have water leak up in the front. I was able to fix by just, uh, bending the seals back. Um, that just came from the panels coming off, but the interior held up really well. It got really muddy in here a lot from off-roading with the doors and roof off. And you can see it looks pretty much brand new. I did get it detailed, but held up really well considering all the abuse it went through. But yeah, I'm really going to miss this thing and the mileage and everything. But like I said, it looks really good in here. Um, pretty quality interior, very simple, but 10,000 times more quality than my, and then, than my Ford. But uh, yeah. You know, it had good departure angle, good approach angle, uh, decent breakover angle, good factory skid plates. Um, this is a brand new wheel. So it's got a little black Jeep. The other ones don't have it because uh, that wheel got tore up at Hard Rock Off-Road. But it did a lot of different off-roading, a lot of road trips. It just went up to North Carolina and back to what, buy my YXZ. Um, really no complaints about it. If I was gonna buy a mid -size, another mid-size pickup truck and I was gonna buy it new, and I wasn't gonna keep it longer than five years, this is what I would buy. If you're gonna keep it longer than five years, get the Tacoma. The Tacoma's got some annoying things about it that Toy needs to figure out. You know, doesn't have rear disc brakes, for instance. Doesn't have rear coilover suspension. Um, has kind of a stiff ride. Has a weird seating position. Um, and this is gonna be better off-road than Tacoma in a lot of situations because of the solid front axle and that amount of flex. Tacoma's also great off-road, don't get me wrong, but there's some situations this would be better. And because the doors come off of this thing and because it's got a way better transmission and it shifts way smarter and it tows more, I would get this over the Tacoma. Um, there really isn't any competition from the Colorado. Everyone knows those are kind of a joke. If you want a Chevy, get a Silverado. The Colorado is so big anyways. And the Ford Ranger just feels like a toy. So that's what you got to get.